Hey, what's up, guys? It's Casey Prime here. I'm back at you with another uh, iPod app review. This time, I'm doing the Back to the Future Flux Capacitor app. Um, this was on. This is available on the iTunes Store for a dollar, pretty much. Um, basically, if you're a Back to the Future fan, this is pretty much an app of the Flux Capacitor. Um, if you can't afford the prop, but you want to own a real-life Flux Capacitor. This is your item. Uh, so to start it up, we'll just turn it on. Uh, Pocket Paradox is the company that made this app, Universal. Uh, now, when you get this opening, you get, you get three options. You get Time Travel, Extras, or About. Uh, start off with About. Pretty much just tell you how to use it, how to operate it, yada yada. Extras just tells you about all three films, so you can buy them on iTunes. And watch a trailer for the 25th anniversary set. Um, I already own all three films. And then we get to the time travel effect itself. I get the time circuits activating. And there it is. The thing that makes time travel possible. The flux capacitor. I'm not sure if it's going to come out on camera, but it actually does show the actual lights moving on the flux capacitor, just like in the film. Um, to activate the time circuit, you just tilt it to the side. Uh, and you'll see this little button here. Press that. And you get your time circuit display. Uh, they, and then you just punch it in to punch in the date. You do your month. Uh, I'm going to punch in a, a, a date that's pretty iconic in the film. November 5th, 1955. November 05, 1955. 06 o'clock. Now, now, there's no AM or PM button. You have to press 1 for AM, 2 for PM. And hit enter. And you get your date, November 5th, 1955. Uh, you can do any date from the film. I've also done March 15th, 1973, which was the date that uh, Marty, uh, Jennifer, uh, not Jennifer, uh, George McFly was, they say he died in part two. I'm going to feel tilted again this way. Uh, you get the flux capacitor, and what you do is you press it again. Oh, didn't need to show that. You press it. And now you're ready to do a time travel. Now, you do have a couple things here. One is the reset, and I'll show you what that does in a second. Um, if you hold down any part of this thing, either the flux capacitor or the speedometer, you will hit 88 miles per hour, and it will simulate the time travel. So let me just go ahead and tap it up. Don't hit that menu button either, so let me just go ahead and hold my finger up here so you can get the full effect. And you get full time travel sounds, and car revving up. This is an example of the car sound, and then for the full time travel, Come on, baby! And BAM! I'm out of here. And unfortunately, though, the flux capacitor is still powered by plutonium. And if you tap it... You'll get the sound of the flux capacitor trying to activate, but it won't work. To activate it again, you need to press that little reset button. And that will reactivate the flux capacitor. Uh, menu, you'll just go back to the main menu. Get back to time travel. And let's go for another run. Uh, let's do... let's see. This time we'll do... October 21st, 2015... There's also delete, delete and reset buttons if you make a mistake in punching in a date. Enter. October 21st, 2015. Oop. Fix that. I actually hit PM. You don't have to do the movie dates. You can do any date from the film. Or anything that comes to your mind. There we are. 4.29 p.m. Wednesday, October 21st, 2015. So, let's go. Let's go for a ride. And also, I also mentioned those. It changes the, the present time date. Let's go for another ride. Here we go. Bam. I'm out of here.
So this is a pretty fun app. Um, it was only a dollar in the uh, App Store. And um, also, just for the heck of it, I'm also going to show the Time Circuits app. Uh, to activate it, just turn it on. Uh, basically, it's an app of the Time Circuits. Um, it has your destination, present time, which is the, actually the current day, and the last time departed, which actually is the actual last time you open the app. And um, the only thing that sucks is that this one isn't as programmable, and it's a little bit more of a fuss. There, so I'm going to November 8th, 1988 at 12 o'clock in the morning. Um, that one is a little bit finickier to operate. But, um, it is a, f um, I prefer the, uh, time, the flux capacitor app, because you get time circuits and the flux capacitor, and you can go to 88 miles per hour. So it is a pretty fun app. Um, I recommend it if you have an iPhone or an iPod Touch that operates that. And it is a pretty fun app, especially for me, because I'm a huge Back to the Future fan. Uh, I guess that's about it. Later, guys, I'm out of here. I'm out. Uh, I guess that's it. Later, guys, I'm out of here.